At the beginning of the week, I kind of talked to Coach and was like, I'm kind of getting tired of sitting around waiting for this thing to heal. So, like, is there anything you can't clear me to do? And that was kind of how it went down. And then, you know, I got into do some passing situations this week. And it was just great to be back out there with the defense and help out anyway. It had been, been helpful with the young guys out there just to have another guy that's been out there. That yeah. Sort of clue in on the keys. Absolutely. Yeah, I helped those guys out. They did a great job. And every, everyone kept their head in the game. They did a very good job. No problem. Jeff, when were you told that you were going to get a chance to be out there today? Um, I kind of had a conversation with Coach. Um, I think Monday it was. Just kind of told him, yeah, I was tired of you know sitting around waiting for this thing to heal. So is there anything I could do? Anything you could let me do? And I kind of had to talk with the trainers and uh, got cleared to do some passing situations and stuff like that. And uh, it was great to be back out there. How would you describe the performances you got out of both uh, Shane and James? Oh, they did a great job. Starting. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, James, is, you know, did a great job out there. Very smart kid, great athlete. And Shane, you know, came right in there, did some nice things. Definitely, it was, it was fun to see those young guys do well. Shane was talking about how you guys uh, have been using kind of a three-four like from time to time, but then really kind of put more of an emphasis on it this weekend. Basically, every time you at Michigan State in a third down, I'd see like you and Lance both coming out yeah. there and r running a three-four. Just talk about like that and what you felt that was able to do. Yeah, I mean, with that, we felt we could, you know, get some good jams on receivers and kind of, you know, take away some of the digs and routes they could get away with. So we and we felt like we could help the safeties out with that too. And yeah, that was kind of our idea behind that. They were uh, some of the guys were talking about how this week the preparation was great and there seemed to be a real focus like amongst everybody. Is that something that you kind of noticed like throughout the week when you were going through practices and team meetings and everything? Yeah, we, there was a real sense of urgency because we knew we had a great team coming in here and we just wanted to get back out on the field and play. And uh, you know, it was a great sense of urgency. Everyone did had a great week of practice, all three phases did a great job. And I know obviously he didn't do any of the coaching, but just having Norm like physically there yeah, today no. and having like his presence you know be felt like in the locker room and when you guys are on the sidelines just what did that mean and how much do you feel that inspired no absolutely yeah. having norm here we were definitely you know wanting to play well for him and that meant a lot to us to have him at the game and uh, we know the best medicine for him right now is to see us play well so hopefully he was pleased with how we played and uh, it's definitely great to have him back have him back in the clinic and i gotta ask what was going through your mind you watched tyler get that interception and lateral hold the ball to michael <laughs> I thought it was awesome, but I thought if that didn't work out, I, I was like, I don't want to be Tyler after that play if it didn't work out. But that was that was unbelievable. One of the yeah, craziest things I've ever seen. That was that was fun to watch. Sure. Crazier than his uh, pick six last year against Indiana. <laughs> right up there with it. Yeah, yeah, definitely very yeah, impressive. He was able to pull that off for sure.